Okay, so I just showed you guys how to download and install the Mac only webcam settings for free because, well, it's not free, it's included in the package that I bought when I bought the webcam, but they don't talk about it for some reason as much as I think they should. Having webcam settings for the camera you just bought is super important so you can make it bright or darker based on your personal needs at that particular time. Everyone's lighting situation is different. How can it be automatic all the time? So I downloaded it, I installed it. If you haven't seen that video, please watch that. It's very important. And then I'm going to go to my finder and go to applications and find this app. I'm going to press next to go. That's the app. And this is what I'm looking for. A bunch of parameters kind of set up so I can move the slider, make it brighter or darker, more contrasty, more saturated in color, more sharp, less sharp. If you're having a bad hair day, um, backlight if you are behind a window perhaps or windows behind you um, this is all very important let's see how it works um okay i guess i can press preview here but there's one thing i want to show you guys i'm going to go to my quicktime player and i'm going to make a video while i'm making a video so i'm going to go to movie player and this is me right now and it looks the same as my camera camcorder and that's because it is the same my nexago camera is not working at the moment i have it plugged in why can't i see myself through this why am i still seeing myself through this i'm sorry for pointing um, and that's because it's not set up correctly so you guys can see here um, and the same for the micro uh, microphone for your headset too if you're not getting sound through this, but through your computer speakers and that condenser microphone in your computer is because it's not set up properly. So go to your app, especially in QuickTime, and press that little arrow right there. And you'll see here that my, my headset is set for the microphone and for the camera, it's still using FaceTime, which is my notebook computer. You wanna go and click this. Okay, now it's changed completely to a different camera. That's why when you plug in your USB camcorder, your USB accessories, it's not working because it you need to tell it what to use, especially if it's new. So this is now be working and you can see that's working and my levels aren't being recorded and I'm using my my webcam here. Now the webcam has two microphones I've heard. I have not used it because I use this when I work. This also has great directional microphone sound as well, I've heard. Um, so if you don't have this, you can just use that. Yeah, or you can use your computer speakers too, which are terrible because there's a fan right near it. Anyway, I'm getting uh, off track here. So I am gonna go back to this thing. This is pretty cool, you guys can see everything. So I'm going to slide things around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? So what I'm saying is it works. If I have a lot of sunlight coming in, I don't need the brightness on that high. If I want a more contrasty look, I can position myself in a different way. More contrast, less contrast. More hue, less hue. This is pretty wild. Um, Pretty simple stuff, but this is so important. Why don't they talk about this as much in here? I had to find out by scouring the internet and looking at their website, hoping they supplied some sort of program. This is all I need. Why are we buying this on the App Store? It's ridiculous. Well, I guess I bought a webcam for like 70, 80 bucks. This should be included. That's what I think. And it should be um, talked about. I don't know what gamma means. Is it like how much like distortion there is? I'm not sure. Right, And these are all things we can play with. And we can also use the preview button here. But I just wanted to share with you guys how to make it somewhat palatable depending on your situation. Okay, And I hope this helps. So I think today we learned uh, how to set up your accessories to make sure it's reading through the camera and how to actually use the sliders here and why it's so important to have this app as simple as it is it's a game changer and if you bought some new accessory we should be able to control it i think it shouldn't always be automatic i hope this helps you i'll see you next time bye bye